newscast. Let's jump into our big three stories of the day. Two years now since that racially motivated hate crime. Ten people killed in Buffalo were alive in the Queen City. Tonight. That's right. We're going to show people just what is done to remember the victims. We're also talking about the Trump trial, the latest as Michael Cohen takes the stand today. What he said uh, to the courtroom in Manhattan earlier. Plus, Red Lobster closing in our region. People uh, voicing their opinions, we'll say, on social media. The story generating a lot of buzz. We'll talk about it in just one moment. We're going to move to the main desk here. You're going to see Ariana Moyer. She's going to talk trending news in just a little bit. But right now, Ethan has more from the criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. As it has for weeks now, it continued today in Manhattan. Former Trump attorney Michael Cohen again on the stand discussing his role in concealing hush money payments made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. The prosecution's case hinges on that payment. Lawyers argue Trump falsified business records while repaying Cohen. Trump maintains his innocence. Ethan mentioned it, Red Lobster abruptly closing. And this happened in the Mill Creek Mall complex, but this is part of dozens of restaurants across the country of Red Lobster. So the Erie location is one of 48 restaurants in the U.S. to close. It comes following reports that the Florida-based seafood chain Red Lobster had been considering filing for bankruptcy. And according to the liquidation company Tag X Brands, all of the equipment from the closed stores will now be sold off. Erie News now reached out to the company for comment and is still awaiting a response. As you mentioned, a lot of buzz generating that Red Lobster location closing abruptly this weekend. You can find it on our website, erienewsnow.com and across